the format of being robot. On my ninth birthday, my grandpa gave me a DVD that looked cute on the cover and back. I thought it was a weird gift from him, thinking that it wasn't a DVD of some famous kids show like Spongebob or The Line Guard, or much more of the kind like Paw Patrol, Max and Ruby, Danger Mouse, etc. I looked closer at the contents of the cover, it didn't have any text on it, besides one that said, Cute Brain Correction, for everyone's favorite child behavior, on the bottom right of the front cover in a cute font, possibly to match the aesthetic of the cover. On the DVD case, it had smiling balloons on it, a smiling coral red cyclops worm and a red worm-like creature as well. I thanked him for such an adorable gift, it brings a smile to my face just by looking at it. I opened the DVD case and saw that the disc was covered in scratches, like someone rubbed it with a scrubby sponge. I then inserted into the disc player on my television, not caring about how badly damaged it was at the time. At the start of the disc, there was a lot of worms that varied in red and black, they were staring right at me and my grandpa. The music was distorted, with the worms bobbing up and down to the beat. I found it very horrifying, with the worms staring. The ratio of the screen began to shrink, until it was really tiny, it was hard to make out what was even going on. Besides the shrunken screen was a weird pattern of sorts, it looked like clusters of darkened holes, pulsing and gyrating at random. It was a bit mesmerizing to look at for 9 year old self. I tried squinting at the TV screen, even getting close up to, with my face pressed up to it. But I eventually gave up trying to watch it, as I worried that it might damage my eyesight and the TV itself. I then ejected the disc and cleaned, hoping that it would fix it. I inserted the disc back into the player and began to watch it. I now saw the same worms and balloons, now with holes and mouths on their faces, they began to writhe and do the same bobbing from the begging to the music, now more distorted and loud. I immediately ran to my grandpa in total fear, telling him that the disc is cursed. He brushed it off, thinking that I was just seeing things, and that I should keep watching it, as it would fix that bratty behavior of yours. I put it back in one last time, hoping that what my grandpa said was true. The worms were now covered with what looked like eyes and large, gaping holes, they were whittling and writhing to the same demented song, it sounded more muffled and staticky this time. I began to sweat and shiver from the audio and imagery itself. I ejected the disc and attempted to break it into shards and toss it in the bin but something told me that if I did, my grandpa would yell at me. I shoved the disc back into its case, grabbed some duct tape and sealed the disc in its case, stowing it away somewhere. Ever since then, I kept seeing clusters of holes at the edge of my view, and it made my skin itch as well. I still don't know why it was called, Cute's Brain Correction, was it to brainwash kids? Was it to corrupt them in a way? Was my grandpa trying to fix me in a way? As I'm now in my late twenties, I still see those damn holes, and still hear that damn music. <laughs>